Everyone, whether they are blessed or cursed, has stories of the little coincidences that lead to important events in their lives, such as how their parents met, their grandparents escaped from a bomb. If you go far enough back in time, the product of an odd evolution, a butterfly that should have long gone extinct but is kept alive by the coincidences that we call chance. According to an old proverb, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Russian soldiers will soon be able to rely on a new weapon to launch grenades with almost pinpoint accuracy and at a rate of fire that will make no adversary want to be anywhere near it. Fires high explosive HE grenades with a 40mm 7P39 casing. Its combat weight is 46 kilograms. Its rate of fire is 400 rounds per minute. Its maximum effective range is 2,500 meters. Its magazine holds 20 grenades. And its assured service life is at least 4,000 rounds. Russian armed forces are planning to bring the newest AGS-40 Balkan Automatic Grenade Launcher, AGL, into service in 2017. After the completion of the relevant operational tests and evaluation, let's explore more. It took a long time to create, but the AGS-40 Balkan 40mm Caseless Automatic Grenade Launcher, AGL, which is comparable in design to the U.S. military's M47 Automatic Grenade Launcher, has now passed the state weapons trials. The newest AGS-40 Balkan Automatic Grenade Launcher from Russia's TechMash Concern, a part of state corporation Rostec, was on display at the IDEX 2019 Defense Show and Conference in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. The AGS-40 can fire continuously and in both short 5 rounds and extended 10 round burst modes. A 20 round feeding belt kept in a metal ammo box feeds the weapon. The AGS-40 grenade launcher itself has a pretty straightforward design and stands out for its compact size and light weight. The receiver and automation are placed right below the barrel, and it is constructed in a linear design. The receiver tape, which has mechanisms for movement, is located above the breech. It is suggested that the grenade launcher's body be mounted on a tripod device created using the same design principles as the flame device. Such a machine can have a shooter's seat added on their rear supports. With the use of ribbons carried in metal boxes, the ammunition is delivered to the right. Automation based on a gas engine with an innovative design was introduced to the Balkans. It lacks a separate piston and vapors tube. The chamber and the drummer serve as its chamber and drummer, respectively. There is a bolt carrier with a rotary bolt inside the tubular receiver. A spring that supports reciprocating combat is located behind the frame. An open shutter is used to put out the fire. The trigger mechanism allows for single shot or burst shooting. Technically, the product can fire 400 shots per minute. Acceleration grenades with 400 mm barrel length have a 220 millisecond top speed. Depending on the elevation angle, the shooting distance can reach 2,500 meters. The bolt is released when its trigger is pulled and it starts to advance. The bolt turns to lock the barrel after firing a shot into the chamber. The frame keeps moving after the shutter closes and, with the help of a drummer, strikes a grenade's cap at the very front. A shot is fired from the barrel by the pressure of the powder gases and the drummer, which serves as a gas piston, is also affected. As he starts to travel backward, the recoil spring is compressed and the bolt carrier is pushed. The frame rotates away from him, unlocking the bolt before pulling him behind him. When it reaches the farthest back of the frame, it either becomes a platoon or takes a new shot. A metal box weighing 14 kg contains ribbons on 20 shots. Therefore, despite offering certain benefits, using a new weapon is not associated with any issues. AGS-40 Balkan still has a sizable edge over a potential rival, nevertheless. These checks will be finished before the year is over, so AGS-40 can be approved. The Army will finally receive the desired weapon after three decades of waiting. So that's all the time we have today, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit that bell icon on your way out. Adios.